Okay, so let's hit into the main solo here in Sultans of Swing. We're going to start at the 12th fret on the 3rd string, and we're going to do a whole step bend. Let me, actually, let me play through this solo real quick, just to let you see what it hears like, uh, sounds like. So let's start with that bend at the 12th fret here on the 3rd string. And you're going to do a few of them. And then we're going to do a little hammer and pull from the 10 to 12 on the 3rd string. And then the same thing from 9 to 10 on the 3rd string. Has kind of a Spanish quality to it. Now we have an interesting way of playing an E ma uh, sorry, an A major arpeggio. He plays the first two notes with harmonics at the 12th fret on the 6th and 5th strings with your pinky. And then he continues the rest of the arpeggio with a um, just a simple fingering of the arpeggio. So after these first two harmonics at the 12th fret on the 6th, followed by the 5th string, then 11th fret on the 4th, 9th fret on the 3rd, 10th fret on the 2nd, and then you do a bend at the 12th fret on the 1st string, a whole step bend and release it back down. So we have this. And then we do a D minor arpeggio coming down, which is just going to be a bar it's actually not really a bar, it's a roll from the 1st string, 10th fret, to the 2nd string, to the 3rd string, and then to the 4th string with, at the 12th fret with your 3rd finger. And try to mute those, it gets a little staccato feel. And then we go 10-13 on the 2nd string. Then a quick hammer on and pull off from 11 to 13 on the second string. Just once. And then shift back to the ninth fret and go 9 and 10. Still on the second string. Then you pick a little quick staccato note at the 11th fret and then hammer on from 9 to 10 and pick 10 again. So let's play that whole phrase again. So we had that a unison bend, kind of just like the unison bend we did earlier, which is at the 13th fret with your pinky on the second string, and then uh, 12th fret on the third with your third finger. And keep this pinky or third finger, remember you can use either or, barred across to the first string as well. So when you do this initial, then you can pick across these three strings. And then lower that 12th fret back down. Then pick 12, I mean, I'm sorry, 10th fret twice on the third string. Then we had this little phrase. That is simply slide to 13 with your second finger on the first string, 12 on the first string, 13 on the second string, 12 on the third string. And when you get to this 12 on the third, hammer on to 14 and pull back off to 12. So we get this. I'm sorry, just pick that 12, don't pull back off to it. So we get this. Then come back to that 13 on the second string and pick it three times with some vibrato on it. And 
And then we have a, and that is a whole step bend at the 13 that we're already at with your third finger. And the second string, pick it again and bring it back down. Then play 11, two frets behind it. And then back to the 13 and do two bends on it. Two whole step bends. So we have this. All right, then we had this lick. That is the 10th fret on the second string. And then pull off, do a pull off from 13 to 10 on the first. And then the same thing on the second string, 13 to 10, pull off. Then come back to that 13 and do a bend, whole step bend. And then pick 10 on the same string, the second string and then 12, 10 on the third string. Then we had this kind of little Spanish sounding figure. All right, that is the same kind of phrase, we're holding that bar at the uh, third string. We're having, we do have that bar, so basically we're going to be playing this little chord. We have three, three on the third and fourth strings, and then your six on the second string, sixth fret. You're going to pick those across, just thumb, index, ring, I mean, thumb, index, and middle finger. And you pick, you pull that, that, that six back to three, which is already in the bar. Then slide that up, pick all three of those notes and slide it up two frets. And then we have this figure. Now, if you remember from in the intro, we had a little rake figure. Well, we're gonna do it again here on these three strings. We have this bar here. Uh, it's gonna be a bar, but we're gonna have to roll the notes. We're picking that rake on the third, the fourth, third with your, in, fourth with your uh, thumb, third with your index, and then second, string with your uh, middle finger, roll your fingers across, and try to roll your finger to bar at the same time. And we get to that top note, we carry this melody. So we're here to this fifth string, I mean, I'm sorry, fifth fret, second string, then six, and then slide up to eight, and then kill it really quick. Then come back down to six, back to five, and then to six to eight again, but this time hold it. So we have it. So that comes out of this. So we have this. So this phrase is pick across, three, 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 pull off, six to three, after that. Pick the three, the three chords, come up here, and then do the rake. Then do that same uh, figure down here again. Then we have a different fill to end the solo. We're playing from five to five, a roll on the fourth string to the third. And then seven on the third, back to five on the third. And then we go bend the whole fret, the whole step of the seventh fret up, and grab the pinky here at the uh, grab the eighth fret with the pinky at the second string. Get that unison bend. Pick that note again and bring it back down to normal flat seven on the third string, and then pick five twice behind it, two frets back. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold come to five and pick it once, and then come to seven again and pick it twice. So we got this. And that takes us back to the chorus figure.